Right, wheel bearing time. Rear wheel off the RS125, DX. Um, I'll see these bearings, they are pretty knackered. They're dented across the top here. So, try and force the tube in the middle, if I can, to one side. Try and get the screwdriver on the yeah, part of the race on the bottom, or well, the inner race on the bottom bearing. This is not going to be nice. got some kind of suspicion that this is not working. That's not moved an inch. Right. I'm going to try and go from I think the pipe in the middle, the tube in the middle is moving more freely now. So let's try and tap from the other side. These bearings do not want to come out. Okay, I've moved the wheel and thanks to my bodgery I'm going to have to try something else. So right, let's uh, have a look at this. Yeah. Undo the nut which holds it onto the swing arm and the lump hammer. Where's that gone? There you go. Nice and clean because I cleaned it. Alright, take out the spacer. That's going to need a clean. So then we have the bearing in there. We use the screwdriver to pull out the seal. If it wants to come out, that is. Oh. I'll let it go from the. Yeah, it's going to go from the inside out. This seal looks like it's. Uh, Going to put up a fight as well. God, blimey. Okay. Some brute forces involved in this one. Cool. The seal does not want to come out. I'll have to put it in the vise. Put a bit more force. Sorry if you guys missed that. Um, managed to get the seal out. This was brute. This was stuck in, and there is a little bit of rust inside. Um, I'm gonna try and scrape all that crap out on the side of the. Uh, focus look at this all that crap on the side of the seal look at that that's nasty that's bad this I don't think this has been changed in a very long time so let's get some of this grease out Let's flip it over and yeah we don't need the bench vice now or do we Right, 
that's it right so this bearing is completely knacked so it doesn't really matter what I use to knock it out with but I could use the spacer but I'm not going to I could damage it so I'm just going to use a screwdriver There we go. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. Um, the seal. Oh my god, that doesn't even. Don't know if you can hear that. That is gr grindy. That is bad. Okay, so that side didn't even have the uh, that side didn't even have the outer ring on it. All that was covering it was this seal. So that's a nasty combination. I'll put in uh, close-up shots so you can see a bit more. So the inside of this is actually quite nice. I'll. Uh, Get in there with the camera and have it just show you now. Oh, it's here! God, sneeze. Uh, I'm gonna take you off the camera, off the tripod. There we go. That's the uh, inside the carrier. Which is actually pretty good. I'm quite surprised. It's not in bad condition at all. It just needs cleaning. So I'll get on with that. Let's have a close up of these nasty, nasty bearings. Or the bearings, shall I say. So that was the outer side. That was the inner side where I was hitting it with a screwdriver to try and knock it out. And yeah, that was the seal. That's pretty nasty. So yeah, let's get the uh, let's get this cleaned up and excuse me and get the new bearing put in.
uh, bearing is in. Now, unfortunately, I ordered the bearings from uh, an online supplier and unfortunately they didn't send the seals, so I'm going to order them separately. Which is frustrating. I have these replacements, and you see that one there, it's quite badly chewed there. So that's going to be replaced. I'm also going to be cleaning up the front brake disc for the front wheel and putting the disc back on because I have new clap clips for these as well. Plus the original bolts for the front wheel were missing so I've got new ones of those to go on. Okay, cleaned up all the crap out of the inside of this tube and pushed it in. It's nice and firm and it moves really really nicely. Flattened down these edges for this and I've just gone to undo that bolt with a 15mm and it just turns. Look at that. Just turns. So yeah, that's what I wonder if the nut underneath is uh yeah, someone's putting a nylock underneath. It's not even the correct uh not even the correct bolt or the nut, sorry. And it's quite rusty. Anyway, let's put that back on there. And see if the others come off. Oh, that one's not a 15. No, then it's not. It must have just come loose because it was loose. Not always a good sign. Do I have a spanner that's going to fit? Oh, a 14. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I want it to come undone. So I'll put that in the vise. Yeah, it kind of works better if it's in the vise. Also very loose. I think this hat, this uh, spanner might be uh, past its sell by date. And it turns in the bench vice. does not want to stay on there. It's still loose. Actually, it might even be smaller again. What is going on with the world? I think that's a 13, you know. I really do. The only 13 I've got. It's an old bicycle one. This is aluminium, this is probably going to break. Aha! Amazing. A bicycle spanner works on a motorcycle. Ah, bodgery, it's a it's a wonderful thing. God. 
That is mangled, well and truly. All right, final one. It's a good thing this is uh, coming off anyway, because uh, it needs to come off. The teeth on it are absolutely gone. Wrong end. That way. Actually, put it at that angle. There we go. It has moved. I know it has because I could I felt it, and so the washer's moved as well. There we go. There we go. It's free. It's free. Okay, so second washes off and the hub is free. I could give that a clean while I'm at it. Even though I just put a brand new bearing in it. I'll try and clean that up without trying to ruin the bearing. I need to get the seal and look after that. So finally the sprocket is awful. It's uh, well, it's not the worst I've seen but it's close. The uh, is it gonna... no it's not as Pete said. Um, the teeth are basically going that way, they're bending over in the direction of travel, the, the chain would travel because it's softer metal. Need a stronger one of those. Right, as I said before, front wheel. Okay, so we have this, we have some wet and dry, 2000. We have a piece of wood and I'm going to put a nail in here not too far. And a nail in here. There are, there are only old ones I've found. It's just stop the disc from moving around too much. And I can pull them out quite easily and just flip the wheel disc over unless... No! It doesn't work. I thought it would. Never mind. Right, okay, let's uh, cut some of this. This grade might be a bit too fine, but we'll see. I think it could be, you know. I think I'll find something that's a bit more bite. And some uh, stronger stuff. Uh, 180 grit. So we'll give this a go. And so on and so forth. Gah, front wheel time. Um, okay, so I cleaned up the disc. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. And yeah, um, it'll do until I can find a new one. Anyway, I'm just gonna try and clean up these, this surface a bit. And then place the disc on. Okay, so there we go. Right, so now we need the brand spanking new um, like C clips, washers. So let's get this open. 
slice one there. And come on, I come. Place the other one upright and always with the tabs facing up because you need to bend them so that when they lock into the nut. Okay, so copper grease. So, nut number one. These are separately bagged as well, it's like Christmas. Brand new, nice. Let's place one there. Hmm, much faffing around and trying to find the right socket and the toolbox has been put away. Um, yes, I found got a 14mm spanner. I will torque these up to the correct amount and then fold the tabs up at a later date. I need to do that. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is put some copper grease on each of these nuts and then put them in and do them up. I think that looks pretty good myself. There we are. Another tick in the little box. Front disc is on, if not talked. Attempted to uh, remove the bearings from the rear wheel, which failed. So I have successfully, as you saw, put the wheel bearing in the sprocket cover carrier. Uh, she will now be locked up for the night. And uh, yeah. Hopefully the next little job is going to be a little more successful. Thanks for watching.